What's going on guys? Twin or Alex coming at you with another MLB The Show 18 video. Today we're here with episode number four of Road to 12 and oh, first team we made it to one win. Now we're on to the second team. You guys can see we have an amazing lineup over to my right and my main goal this video get to at least two wins we want to do better than the last team i think this could be a 12 win team as long as i score runs and uh don't allow runs and i think this should be a 12 and 0 team this video i'm thinking we're gonna try to get to three wins we're just gonna have to see how the first few games go but really focus on this game get this win make it further than we did with the first team here in this series if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like subscribe if y'all are new we're on the road to 18,000 subscribers on the road to 1,000 subscribers on my fortnite channel should find that in the description if you guys are into that getting not super close but you know we're getting closer every single day and comment anything down below on this video we're one to know let's go ahead and get win number two we're playing the california wildcats our opponent has immortal babe sean green 81 steve pierce i think that's live series just some cool card art brian dozier hunter dozier oh are they brothers i doubt it kevin pilar devin mesoraco you know escobar how do you have two diamonds a gold in your lineup and a silver on the mound i don't get it tommy malone a lefty shoot a lefty on the mound we got andrew miller good for us a lefty on the mound home team let's just please win this game so i don't know if this is going to be a stupid decision i think it depends on a little bit how this first at bat goes uh we have andrew miller on the mound okay for a common i would say he's pretty good and i'm going to try to see how he does versus immortal babe and then leave him in for sean green most likely okay maybe let me know if you think that's a stupid decision i just want to make sure i have time for my bullpen guys to get fully warmed up especially because i only have one lefty uh, i kind of want to save him for later on if we have to face these guys again just so we can face immortal babe and uh, mortal babe leading off the game with the base hit O2 2 count on him and i do that if i have somebody in an O2 2 count why would i ever give him a pitch to hit if i have someone in an O2 2 count okay why would I ever throw this pitch? That's just stupid of me. Uh, you guys can see my reliever's not fully warm. I want him to be a little bit more warm. We're going to leave Andrew Miller in for Sean Green. I really hope I don't regret this decision. And Sean Green flying out to left field. There we go. So we got the first out of the inning. Andrew Miller, he's done for. I think he has a righty up now. Yeah, he has a righty up now, so we're going to go ahead. Three righties at least in a row. Bring up Nate Jones. Hopefully, he can get us out of the inning, and we can go to the bottom of the first inning, score like 10 runs. Let's go, baby. Broken bat. Going to be out number two, hopefully. It always scares me when they do that. Oh, my goodness. I saw him running at the guy instead of the base, and I wasn't 100% sure he was going to tag him. Ryan Dozier up now. I think Hunter Dozier on deck, right? I was going to say Hunter Dozier up, but this looks a lot like Brian. So I'm pretty sure it's Brian and then Hunter Dozier. Already got him in a no two count. We are one strike away from getting out of this inning following Babe Ruth's hit. We did it. Let's go to the bottom of the first inning. Immortal Stand the Man leading us off. We have an amazing lineup. Let's take the lead right here. Evan Gad is down the line. So Stan. We, uh, we got an, I think it was a two and one count, and I grounded down to the first baseman. So Evan Gaddis, one down here in the inning, getting a double. He's in scoring position for Jim Edmonds. He still has a starting pitcher. It is a silver, but a lefty on the mound. Jim Edmonds, always been a good card for me. I really, really want to score in this inning. He brings in a righty. What? Yo, why is he doing that? I'm happy about it. Sinker cutter four seam and knuckle curb this is a situation this is what i'm going to be doing in this 12 and 0 run okay so jim edmonds flying it out to center evan gaddis on second 33 speed but i felt like we could tag and we did so runner 90 feet away two down we took the risk it ended up working out i thought it would it did i got to make smart decisions like that carlos correa looking to drive him in he does and we are six ounce away from 2 and 0 with this team that's exactly what i wanted to do right there Max Muncy now getting a base hit. Hopefully he doesn't get me on his second. There we go. We're safe. Okay, two runners on, two down in the inning. Adrian Beltre coming up. I have over a 500 average with him. Now, 
I should have gone home. I would have been safe if I kept going. That was weird. That's an error, so his average still goes down. I don't know why that happened. Maybe someone's out of position. Now we got Babe Ruth. 0-1 count to him. He's been a pretty good hitter for me as well. Looking to come through. Babe Ruth the other way, man. Going up, Otago. Two videos in a row. We're sending the runner home. We're sending... Oh, wait, no. We're not sending Babe to second. But that's a two RBI base hit for him. We extend our lead. Kendry's Morales is coming up now. Two down in the inning, two on, as we have a three to nothing lead. Let's go, baby. Lost connection with our opponent, so I'm assuming they just quit. I'm assuming that's why we lost connection. If I somehow take the L here, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know. Uh, if I somehow take the L here, I would just probably end the Road to 12 0 series and just play BR normally because if that would be happening, there's no way I would win 12 games. Uh, so we're 2-0 with this team. Let's go ahead right now, get win number three. We are playing the Phoenix Coyotes. Our opponent has 79 Drew Stubbs, Miguel Andahar, Immortal Ryan Sandberg, 81 Adam Lind, 87 Victor Martinez, Jose Iglesias, 72 Tony Perez, Lonnie Chisenhall, Justice Sheffield. I think it's Justice. I think you guys told me Justice Sheffield. We got Tim Melville on the mound. Hopefully Justice is a righty. Away team looking to start off this battle real. 3-0. If our opponent for some reason quits pretty early on, then we are definitely going to be getting another game in this video, but this could be the last one. It all depends on how long this game takes. Guys, watch this pitch out of his hand. Tell me if it's if I'm crazy or if it's hard to pick up the ball. I, am I crazy or was it hard to pick up the ball into his hand? Stan Musial destroying that one into the street completely out of Wagon Man Park. 495 feet oh my goodness Stan Musial absolutely crushed I still think it's hard to pick up the ball out of his hand but wow that's one of my longest home runs in a while 500 foot homer pretty much we'll round that up 495 a 500 foot home run for Stan Musial man wow that was crazy there we go striking out Drew Stubbs for the first down in the bottom of the first inning he has Miguel Andahar followed by Immortal Ryan Sandberg and Nate Jones. I've kind of noticed this when I've faced Nate Jones just in Battle Royale, you know, gone up against him. And maybe you guys can watch right here. I feel like his release is a little glitchy. Like, am I crazy? Already very quickly here in this game, I've already asked if I'm crazy twice. One about the, the ball being hard to pick up. But combined with that, I feel like his motion's a little bit glitchy. Like, like if you look at his hand, I feel like... The ball doesn't release where it should be. It's kind of one of those glitchy motions. Our opponent's getting a base hit. Ryan Sandberg coming out one down here in the inning. I really don't want to give up anything big here. I just want to get out of this inning. Be six ounce away from winning this game. But it's going to be tough with an Immortal up to bat. All right, full count to Immortal Ryan Sandberg. We're going to go high fastball. Honestly, off the bat, I thought that was a dinger. I really did. Uh, so second out of the inning, we're getting Immortal Ryan to fly out. Looks like we're going to be getting out of trouble. We have Nate Jones on the mound still. He does have Adam Lind up to bat, though. This guy could easily put him in the lead with one swing. But I got faith in myself to make some good pitches. And we are getting out of the inning. Six outs away from starting off 3-0 with this team. Let's go. 2-0 to Adrian Beltre. Only one down in the top of the second inning. You know, I'm going to say that I have confidence in myself to win this game. We're up one to nothing. We're six ounces away from winning, but I really will love to get some insurance runs. Adrian Beltre not doing anything there. Two down for Bay Ruth with a lefty on the mound, but here either in the top of the second, maybe a two out rally, or just in the top of the third, I really do want to try to get at least one insurance run. Obviously, I think it's going to depend on how this bottom of the second inning goes, but... I just don't think it's good for myself to win games one to nothing. I think I really need to try to be getting, you know, two, three, four runs every single game if we do want to go 12 and 0. Good news though, we're five outs away from starting off 3 and 0 with this team. Let's go, baby. Getting ourselves to the top of the third inning. We are three outs away from being 3 and 0 with this team. I left Nate Jones in even though he was really low on energy just because he's the second batter of this inning. I wanted to be able to pinch it for him. So Justice Sheffield, for some reason, still on the mound. Kendrys Morales up. If I've had frozen games, they seem to be when it's the hitter before the pitcher and he grounds out. So 
my goal right now, don't ground down with Kendry's Morales because I really do not want to somehow take an L from a frozen game. It doesn't seem to happen every single time I ground out, but I don't want to take the risk, especially when I'm winning. So I'm sitting here thinking, you know what, maybe I'm just going to watch every single pitch. You know, I, I will take a strikeout looking as, uh, as long as it means we're not going to be getting a frozen game. However, three and one count and we could draw a walk. Okay, so I wasn't going to swing the bat anyways. We're drawing a walk, leadoff runner on, Dominic Smith coming in, and then we have Immortal stand the man. Anything but a double play from our pinch hitter right here. Evan Gaddis puts a drive into one, two down here. I don't think it's going to be a home run, but it's carrying. Oh, man, warning track power for Gaddis. Going to the bottom of the third inning, you guys, okay? Three outs away. He has Lonnie Chisenhall, Jose Alvarado, Drew Stubbs. I'm going to bring in Amir Garrett, but then I think – so he's probably going to pinch hit for his pitcher after this. I'm thinking that we just bring in one of our righties uh, after this hitter, even if he does bring in a righty pinch hitter because he'll probably bring in a lefty one after that anyways. But I think the smart move is probably to pitch to Lonnie and then bring in a righty just because he's going to have Drew Stubbs, and then if he gets any hits or walks or anything, two more righties after that. He's pinch hitting already. Oh, man. Not what I was expecting there. Amir Garrett, please do not allow a home run in this inning, okay? Let's go, baby. That's a huge out number one as long as Babe can get there. There we go. Two outs away from 3-0. and oh. oh, no. Ian Kinsler pinch hitting 75 speed. Amir Garrett, come on. No, that's going to be an infield hit. I meant to take Amir Garrett out, but I legit completely forgot. I kind of zoned down a little bit. So the tying run is on first if I lose this game. I'm actually going to be so mad at myself. Okay, Cody Allen. I should have brought in Kirby with that slider. Cody Allen on the mound. Winning run up to bat, okay. One and no count. Already hit his count. Uh, let's go fastball high and inside. He's stealing. I didn't even throw it. The tying run is on second base. I'm a little nervous now, you guys. There we go. 0-2. Oh or 1-2. and two. Yeah, one and two. Okay, let's go one more fast behind inside. Let's go. Huge strikeout. Huge out number two. Miguel Andahar coming up. His final chance to do something here. We got to win this game. He's stealing. Oh, my goodness. I saw him swing, and I thought maybe he was going to at least tie the game. We're getting the W, though. We are 3-0 and oh with this team. This is looking like a good team, you guys. I think this could be the 12-0 and oh team. I just need to continue to score runs, preferably two, three, maybe even four runs at least per game. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 18,000 on this channel, on the road to 1,000 on my Fortnite channel. Link is in the description. Comment anything down below. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Tomorrow, we might go for 6-0. It really depends on how the games go, but we could maybe even be going for 6-0. I will see you then for episode number 5 of Road to 12-0. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you as always for watching. Peace out.